Hello everyone, welcome back to the next video in Azure Data Factory playlist. So today we are going to learn about what is data sets in Azure Data Factory. So in our previous videos, we have learned about what is integration runtime and what is in linked service in Azure Data Factory. So in Azure Data Factory, the hierarchy falls from integration runtime. Once you create an integration runtime, you, you can able to create a linked service based on those integration runtimes. And you can uh, configure the connection strings and you can uh, provide the connection for your source and the destination through the linked service and once the connection has, has been established you can able to refer any of the data available in the source and the destination with the help of data sets so that let us uh, see what is data sets and how it will be useful in Azure data factory and how to manage those data sets so data sets in data factory is a named view of data that points to data to be used in the activities so if you are going to use an activity inside a pipeline so you can use multiple activities and uh, run it in your pipelines so for any activities you must need to create a link service which will connect to your source and the destinations where you need also to provide a data set which is the data that you are going to fetch from so let's say for an example if you are creating a linked service for connecting to Azure SQL database then you need to provide particularly what you are going to connect to. So if you are going to connect tables you need to provide data sets as a table and if you are going to provide a stored procedure then you need to create a data set as a stored procedure. So these are the named entities for your data points that you are going to connect. And this provides the schema and the location for your data source and the sync. So this will act as a schema. Let's uh, as a schema for a table. It contains the structure that you are going to access through your data source and the data destinations. So it ensures the data has been correctly referred and accessible. So once you create a data set, you can easily access the particular data that you are going to connect, and it ensures you are accessing the correct data through the data sets so it is used to simplify the manipulation and transformation activities so if you think of uh, having multiple tables in your uh, databases so just you are creating a linked service it's a complex thing so to reduce the complexity data sets will refer the particular table that you are going to perform the transformation so these data sets are helpful to identify the particular data that you are going to perform the manipulation or transformation. So let us see some of the uses of data sets in Azure Data Factory. So this will ensure the proper format and accessibility of the data that you are going to refer. So uh, as we already seen that the data sets will refer to the structure that you are going to access from your source or a destination and it simplifies the operation operations for abstracting the underlayer data source details. So once you create a linked service, you can create the data sets for all the data available in your uh, source or the destinations. So once a linked service has been created to the Azure SQL database, then for your data set, it will provide all the tables which are available in the Azure SQL database that you have connected. So you can select any of the table that you are going to perform the manipulation through the help of data sets. So it will also facilitate the ingestion transformation and storage activities. So to perform any of the activities, you must need to define an integration runtime. Then with the help of integration runtime, you need to provide a linked service to connect with the source of the destination. And further, you need to define the data set, which is actually going to point to the data source at the destination. And it allows consistent and reusable data references across pipelines. So the there are a, dynamic linked services and dynamic data sets available for you in Azure Data Factory. So uh, let's say for an example, you can uh, create dynamic linked services to connect to multiple data sources or a data destinations. You have a Azure SQL database. So we have a multiple servers for the particular database. So if you are going to connect to each and every databases in a particular server, so you don't need to create a linked service for each databases. So you can uh, create 
a dynamic linked service and you can configure it by passing the parameter of the database name in the runtime of your pipeline just like that you can able to create dynamic data sets so for an example if you are uh, connecting to a database and uh, going to fetch 10 tables then you need you don't need to create 10 data sets for our 10 tables you can just create a single dynamic data data set that is going to point to the tables that are available in the Azure SQL database and you can just pass the table name dynamically during the pipe, pipeline runs and you can able to fetch all the tables that are available in Azure SQL database with the help of the single data set which is the dynamic data sets so in our uh, further videos we are going to discuss more about these dynamic data sets and how we can pass those in during pipeline runs so here let us discuss few types of uh, data sets available in your link service so here I have an uh, Azure Data Lake Gen 2 and Azure Blob Storage along with this I have a SQL database and SAP HANA database so let's for an example you have a Azure Data Lake Gen 2 and Azure Blob Storage that you can uh, have multiple data sets like it can be a CSV file and uh, the data can be stored in Auro file or it can be a Parquet file an Excel file or a JSON file so you are just providing the copy activity or any other activity to perform the particular reference in your source or a destination so in our uh, if it in case of a it is a database Azure SQL database or on-prem database SAP HANA or a PostgreSQL so in those linked services you have data sets like it can be a store procedure or it can be a tables or views so these are few of those data sets available for multiple linked services so there are multiple data sets available for multiple linked services so in our videos we can discuss all the linked services and data sets one by one so let us see about how to manage these data sets so we need to provide the clarity and data integrity so this data sets will provide you the clarity and the data integrity for your data so you you are clearly specifying which data you are going to access so to maintain this compliance and security policy you can use the data sets so you can provide only the particular data to be transferred or tra manipulated in your uh, pipelines so it can be managed by providing a clear naming convention so already we have seen in our previous videos it is it will be helpful for you to identify a linked service or a data set to provide a clear name or a prefix inside your component that you are going to create in Azure Data Factory so it will include the environment data source and details also the purpose for the connect connectivity so also you can able to store these data sets as a ARM templates or, a, or you can uh, able to store the metadata in your github or devops account so you can use those metadata in your um, new data factories and uh, you can able to connect with those data sources with the help of these data sets so basically a data set is the named reference of your data that you are going to access in your particular linked services so I hope you have understood what is a data set in Azure Data Factory. So in our upcoming videos, let us create few data sets and connect to the source and the destination and perform certain activities. So if, if you like this video, please share with your friends and please subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon. Thank you for watching.